So I'm quickly just going to demonstrate how to get a windows.own folder during windows installation. Essentially you need to install windows in a way that I don't recommend. This is a way where you do not delete the system partitions, you do not format the drive, you do not use disk part, and certainly you do not use DBAM. So when you're installing Windows, after accepting the license agreement, what you want to do is go to Custom Install. And on the screen, you just want to highlight the largest partition and then select Next. And then it will give you the prompt that it will create a Windows.own folder. Essentially, it will dump all the files from your own installation to the Windows.own folder. Pretty much all the useful information from the Windows.own folder are your user files. For an installation that was initially Windows XP, this is in C, Windows that owned, and then Documents and Settings, and then Windows Vista owned, Windows 7 owned, or Windows 7 8.1 owned. This is in C, Windows that owned, slash users, and then whatever your username was. And it'll probably be similar for Windows 10 owned. And you might ask, I've got all my program files, in the Windows own folder, can I still run my own Windows programs? The answer is probably not. Usually, most programs require some input from the Windows registry, simply to say they're installed, and if you try and launch them, they'll flag up an error. So, all the old Windows files, all the old program files, all the old system files are pretty much useless. So, let's extract the useful user files. To the left, I'm going to open up the windows.own folder, see windows.own, users, and my own username was test, and it was an old Windows 7 installation. As mentioned, if this had been Windows XP, it would be see windows.own, documents and settings, and then my username. And to the right, I'm going to open up the new user file, so see users. And to distinguish, I would just um, name the folder Philip. You can have the same username in both cases, of course. So I'm opening the desktop folder on both sides and I'm dragging all the useful items I had on the desktop from the windows.own folder to the new user file folder. And one thing I want to mention is desktop shortcuts. Most will be to programs which no longer exist, so there's no point copying them over. So. What I'm just doing now is going to the Documents folder, to the Downloads folder, and essentially copying everything I want across, and repeating for Favorites. Now these Favorites will only apply to Internet Explorer, because Google Chrome and Firefox aren't as tightly integrated to the Windows operating system. They generally have their bookmarks somewhere within the App Data folder. So for an old Windows 7 installation, they're in the following folders, and you'll need to copy them across to the new folders. I don't have any additional browsers installed in the virtual machines, so I'm not going to go through this. I'm just going to go through the standard user file set up by Windows. So I'm just going to continue through to music now and pictures, and then finally videos. Most third-party default programs should write to the default user directory folders for music and media as well as documents. However, it is impossible to specify each and every program compatible for the Microsoft Windows operating systems and where they all write their user files. Especially if you have something non-standard and out of the ordinary, you'll need to check where it stores files. OneDrive has not been covered in this video, as it should store the files to the OneDrive cloud. However, you can back up the OneDrive folder if you want, just in case. And now I'm just right-clicking the Windows to own folder and looking at its properties. And you can see that it's pretty large because it's a full old Windows installation of Windows 7. And this is an actual small Windows.own folder because not much has been installed. 
So we essentially want to delete it because it's just taking up hard drive space. And as I mentioned before, we can't use the old Windows system files. Upper Windows that old installations may actually be larger because I've not installed any additional programs or updated the old Windows 7 installation. Deleting the Windows that old folder usually doesn't work if you try to delete it using Windows Explorer. The best way I found to remove it is using Disk Cleanup. To get to Disk Cleanup, we need to go to the Control Panel. So for Windows 8.1, right-click the Start button and select Control Panel. For Windows 7, left-click the Start button and select Control Panel. And what you want to do is left-click System and Security, and under Administrative Tools, select Free Up Disk Space, and this will launch Disk Cleanup. And what you want to do is select Clean Up System Files. This will do a second scan of what files it can clean up, including the system files. This cleanup will refer to the windows.own folder as previous Windows installations. So once it's finished its second scan, we'll have a bigger list to scroll through. And if we just go down, we can look through at what it offers. But what we're looking for in particular is previous Windows installations. And once you've selected everything you want to get rid of, select OK and then select Delete Files. And finally, when it's finished, we can just open up Windows Explorer and search the C drive to see if we've got a windows.own folder. If it's been successfully deleted, there will be no windows.own folder on C drive. You now have recovered your lost disk space.